Hello and welcome back to Trains Railroad Simulator 2019. Thank you very much for joining me in this video, the first video of this title in 2019. So now we're actually with the year that is actually on the box. So this is great, which means that this is coming up to the close of its early access and beta period and will be released very, very soon. In fact, it's going through processes of getting it on Steam at the time of re this recording. I know that the Developers are working on fixing a few bugs, fixing a few issues, and I am sure that this is going to be released fairly soon. So, with that in mind, I'm going to be taking a look at another route today, and that is the Cornish Main Line and Branches, another unique route to Trains Railroad Simulator 2019. We're going to have a look at it. We're going to see what's available. I'm going to read this uh, little bit of text. We're going to have a look at the scenarios, and then we're going to pick one and get it running so if you want to know whether you you should purchase this product by the way you can purchase it in the link in the description box below so you can just click on that link anything off that site you can purchase that is the official train site but if you want to know whether you should watch the rest of this video The Cornish Main Line was originally built by two separate railway companies. The West Cornwall Railway between Truro and Penzance opened in 1852 and the Cornwall Railway between Plymouth and a separate station in Truro opened in 1859. The impecunious West Cornwall Company sold its railway to the more powerful broad gauge associated companies dominated by the Great Western Railway and the new owners converted the West Cornwall Line to broad gauge. Though goods trains started, or shall I say through goods trains, started running in 1866 and passenger trains in 1867. The associated companies merged into the Great Western Railway, and in 1892 the Great Western converted all its broad gauge track to standard gauge, the process called the gauge conversion. During the later decades of the 19th century and the first half of the 20th, the Great Western Railway was famous for providing transport to holiday destinations in Cornwall and there were numerous branch lines served from the Cornish Main Line giving access to the resorts. The physical limitations of the steeply graded line imposed severe problems during the busiest times, not least for goods trains operation. Equally famous was the lines used for transporting vegetable produce from Cornwall, famously broccoli and cauliflower, and cut flowers from the Scilly, Scilly Islands. I keep getting this wrong. C Scilly Isles, there we go. Many of the branch lines were closed during the second half of the 20th century, but in Cornwall, the Lew, Newquay, Falmouth and St Ives branches remained in operation. With a basic local passenger service in winter considerably boosted by holidaymakers in summer, the historical development of the line is more fully dealt with at Hale Railway, West Cornwall Railway and Cornwall Railway. The route runs between Truro and terminates in Penzance and includes branch lines to Falmouth, the Maritime Route, Helston, Hale Wharves and St Ives. So there you go. Some information about this particular track. It has been built using Google Earth so it should be fairly accurate. Let's click View Sessions and let's have a look at what's available. In fact, this one has quite a lot available. We've got a trip to Falmouth, 35 minutes. We've got Cornish Mainline and Branches Freight Delivery, 45 minutes. The Helston Freight Run, 45 minutes. The Helston Passenger Run, 30 minutes. The Mainline Passenger Service, 1 hour 5 minutes. The St Ives Passenger Run, 20 minutes. Work in St. St. Irth? I don't know that name. 20 minutes. Work on the Falmouth Docks Branch, 50 minutes. So there we go. There are a few. The one I'm going to pick today is the 30 minute Helston passenger run on the branch line. We will have a look at the main line. I'm sure I'll take a look at that, but we are going to choose the branch line. So let's get underway. Welcome to Helston. This morning you're in charge of taking... Should I do this in a Cornwall accent? I don't know a Cornwall accent. Welcome to Helston. This morning you're taking charge of a local train from Helston to Gwynia Road, where the passengers will be able to transfer to the main line trains. Now it's more of a Welsh accent. Whoa, that was a hard hit. History facts of the line. The Helston branch was an 8.5 miles long, 4 foot, 8 inch 
Standard Gauge Railway branch line and is, in the, and is the southernmost branch line in the United Kingdom. The line opened in 1887 and was absorbed by the Great Western Railway in 1898 to continue existence as the Helston branch. The line is no longer there. Passenger trains on the line closed in 1962 on the 3rd of November. Goods trains had an additional two, year bef two years before the line seized on 4th of October 1964. The tracks were lifted by mid-1965, so these don't even exist anymore. At the moment, your train isn't ready, so the local shunt is getting the coaches for you. You can watch action while you wait. Well, hold on, you've, you've got lost. Oh. <sighs> Alright, well, whilst we're waiting, let's have a, a look around. Uh, I will admit, this actually does look rather pretty. Uh, I am going to make a note again of these, the locomotives, they need better textures. I'm, I'm going to say this over and over again. They need better textures. Amazingly, I think that... Um, I honestly think that for some reason those look like they have better textures than this. Oh, it's bringing it into the station, of course. That's awesome to see. Where's the back of that one? I didn't know that's what the back of it looked like. I didn't think they did. Great Western Railway. Look at this. Shunter bring it in. A proper tank engine. We've got ourselves... Hold on, that's a tank engine. Where's our... Oh, there's our... Wait, I'm confused. That is a tank engine. So, oh, oh yeah, this is a tank engine too. It's just different. Look at him go, look at him go. That's awesome to see though. The, the fact that they've got that in, in this, it's, it's nice. Okay, so, wait for train. Yeah, I've been waiting a while now. Go, go on, go on. I think it needs to pull into back into its location. In the meantime, let's have a look around the branch a little bit. Just got some housing here. It's a little bit of a misty morning. That's not bad. Uh, they could do with an improvement in quality. I just think that with 2019 here, we, we could be able to or should be able to have higher resolution textures. Look at this. But with that being said, that that being said, this feels like a really, this is a really properly well done area already. I can I can just look at this and think, this is this is cool. Is the end of the line? Yep, that looks pretty good. Of course, they've got all the lovely grass textures and everything. Got sheep in the fields. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Please tell me you're turning off. You are. You're going into that shed. It is. It does look nice. It's got the old semaphores. Single branch. Very well, you know, very overgrown. It does look. That does look really nice. I just think they need to. Honestly, I think they just need to work on textures uh, for the most part. Okay, collect train. Well, let's go into this mode and let's collect the train. Wait, what am I supposed to do? It hasn't told me I should go, but I'm going to go anyway. Uh, reverser, fall forward. Do that. Interesting, interesting whistle. Right, let's just do that. Whilst we're waiting, we'll we'll get the water filled up a little bit too. Right, so we've got to go over to that and then we're going to back up. Which is awesome. That that's really awesome. So yeah, whilst we're waiting we'll just uh We'll just fill some water up. And 
and I think we're through. Yep, 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 yep. On the brakes. There we go. Back it up. And we go back. And we'll just we'll just ease back at about five miles per hour. We don't need to go that that quickly at all. We can take our time here. In fact, let's let's go a little bit faster. There we go. Okay. That face does not match the kind of person that would be driving this. I'm sorry, it it just doesn't. Those, I need to close those. Hmm. I'll close them once I'm at the station. We'll have a look inside in a minute, but uh, obviously what I'm trying to look at is, is all the scenery. As well as, that person is a little bit... You are awfully close to this train, good sir. You are awfully close. Is that a porter? I think it is a porter. Let's slow this train down a little bit. Slow this train down a bit more than that. There you go. And touching it at about two miles per hour should be okay. Come on. Excessive acceleration? That's definitely a bug. That's got to be a bug. Okay, so now we're just going to wait here. In the meantime, let's have a look inside. And when it loads up. There it goes. Loading up now. Nothing too too fancy. Uh, we've got the Great Western uh, Swindon, number 721. Hold on, what's the number of this train? Hello. 5184. Um... That doesn't work. Am I to go now? It says passengers boarding there. There's the whistle. So can I go? Yes, right away. Also, that down, a little bit there. And I think we will stay outside for the majority of this. This doesn't... Inside, it, it needs work. What was that? It, it does need work. This is a bit low quality, for, in my opinion. Everything's there, don't get me wrong. Everything is there. It's just a little bit low on quality. And that's just a, a little bit of a concern for me. Improve this and it will be awesome. Could I hold that? No. If they just improved that, it would it would really, really be awesome, I think. Uh, I know we're, we're leaving this rather slowly, but... What can you do? No, back, back away, back away. Where's the, where's the line? Where is the line? There it is. Right. Here we go. Oh, I needed to shut those off, didn't I? Uh, those would be down here somewhere. Sanding, cut off. They should be down here. Where are they? Ah, there it is. I think it's this. Nope, there, that's on. Oh, that's off, so I don't know what... Uh, ah, maybe that's just how it runs. 
Oh, maybe that is just how it runs. I'm not too sure. As you guys know, I'm not all too uh, familiar with steam engines. I absolutely love steam engines, but I'm not all too familiar with them. With regards to the the terrain and things like that, it does look good. It does look fairly nice, actually. In fact, it looks very nice. So I'm not, I'm not even going to make a comment saying that this doesn't look nice. It looks nice. It's maybe not up to absolute top class AAA standards. Um, do I not have lights on this train? But that still does look nice. Yeah, that's um that's lovely. Let's pick it up. We've got a mile and a bit to go. Let's enjoy the scenery. So we'll do most of this from the outside view. I think I remember how to run a steam engine without dropping the boiler pressure to nothing. Though what do I know? Actually, this is rather easy to do at the moment. Lovely. 35 miles per hour. Down this route. Oh dear. Um, yeah, this looks good. Actually, that does look good. Yeah, that you know what I, I will say that they've done a they've done quite a good job here in terms of terrain uh, terrain placement and or whoever's made this. I just think texture-wise, it needs improvements always. That's that's one thing I've found that they always need improvements on. Is is textures. Can I sit inside one of these carriages? I wonder. I can. It's not brilliant, but I can. Crows shut up. Crows shut up. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to let the power down on this simply because we've got a 20 coming up in fact I'm not going to let the power down quite yet although we do have a, a distant caution signal I've got to try and remember that these aren't just red red yellow yeah there we go the home signal is is uh, clear. Distance signal is blocked. And caution. I understand that. I I understand that. I feel quite happy that uh, I understand those things now. So we're going to assume that the next signal is red until we can see it. Now I know it says it's green here, but in in an effort to try and do this somewhat properly we're going to take an assumption that it is indeed and in fact red we are coming into the 20 quite nicely where is the 20 there it is and you this is really loud. Shh. 
quiet. I think it's boiler pressure build up. That's what it is. No, I think so. Um, how do I fix that? Is that what that's for? That is what that's for. I knew there was a reason for it. I've got to slow this train down a tad. Pass it. That's for slowing down the train a little too much. Uh, a little bit loud, I will say a little bit loud. We're not pulling it. Look at that, sidings and everything. It's so cool to see this. I wish railways like this still ran. I do I do wish rail, railways like this are still around. Everything's in a sort of... with embankments on either side because it's been cut out because of the if you if you look at that so you can see how hilly this is this area and obviously trains can't navigate hills with that kind of with that kind of fashion right or in that kind of fashion let's crank this up I th somebody's going to tell me that I'm doing this wrong Somebody's definitely going to tell me that I'm doing this wrong. Start injecting a little bit more water in too. But hey, I'm accelerating. My boiler pressure is great. Um, my steam chest pressure is not so good. So I don't know how that's going to have an effect on anything. That's awesome. Right, we're going to be coming into another 20. Combine harvesters at work and tractors at work. I suppose this would be tractors given this is the 19... Probably the 1950s. Maybe the 1930s. Yeah, I don't know what that noise is. That does seem to fix... Uh, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Thank you. There's a 20 coming up. Prepare for station stop. Oh, I'm going to actually apply the brakes here. Slow myself down. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen. I'm going to release the brakes as I come into the station. I'm going to increase the injectors. Do that. And hopefully, I'm hoping I get this right. I'm really hoping I get this right. Oh look, sandpipe, we could turn that. But I mean, knowing my luck, I'm not going to get it right at all, but I, I am hoping for it. Actually, that worked. And I'd like to take a photo there. Who? Oh, we've got a goods train moving as well. See, that's, that's really nice to see. This movement is really nice to see. That whistle could have done with some work. But that's... Look at this. We've got goods trains over here. We just pop over to uh, over here. Come on, there we go. It's funny because um, I've got a, a model railway set, or my my father's model railway set, and he has some of these wagons. 
on one on one of the kits or one of the sets with a Great Western Railway engine actually and it's really cool to see right hang on a second I'm gonna be held as a red here surely right way driver come on That whistle still is nice. Oh, this guy's off on his, uh, doing whatever else he needs to do. That's really, that, that is cool. I, I will say that is cool. Uh, 1.91 miles to the next stop. So it's just two miles. It's a, it's a short journey, I will say. It says it's semi-express. I think, uh, I don't know how, well, we've got one stop there and then we've got one more stop to go so we'll see what that brings for us I take it this needs to now be closed I don't know I, I really don't know will those crows please shut up crows don't make that much noise it's kind of noisy here when you're in a graveyard. Frames are really well, um, you know, they, they're handling, it's handling it really well. The graphical quality is really good for the sim. I just think, again, I think the train needs work. I think they've got things running really well outside in the environment, but the trains do need work. just cruise I guess no perhaps not completely cruise but you know go across this one it is nice and I, and I have to say I think this is more well done than the Edinburgh Dundee route. As much as I like the Edinburgh Dundee route, um, I think this graphically and environmentally, this is more well done. It, it really is. Admittedly, there seems to be more stutters when I look in this direction than this direction for some reason and I'm not sure why shush oh here we go again yes yes oh there's a little car waiting there I'm pretty sure it's when the boiler pressure goes above 200 psi, that's when it's doing this. I am pretty sure that's the case, but I don't know how to drop that boiler pressure. Oh, bit of a... I hear people talking. I, I don't know how to drop that boiler pressure. Do I bring the do I bring this to zero? No, that's not it. Anybody potentially tell me how to do this? Just speeding just a smidge. It should ease off. I'm sure people weren't that um, that accurate on the speed. I feel like they're not open. Prepare for station stop. Oh, here we go again.
Let's hope to get this right too. Oh, then we've got a massive downhill. That's that's actually that's actually very steep. Okay, here we go. Don't want to be braking too hard. So I'm going to start applying the brakes now. What? What's happened? No, 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 don't stop the... Oh, no. This is not good. Because I've left it in full... Oh, no, wait, it stopped. Okay. They really should let me... What I would like is let me move this forward to where it needs to be and then open then open the doors manually. That would be lovely. Although that's being said, this does kind of present a nice little picture. It's a very picturesque landscape, I will say that. Look, if you're looking everywhere, it's very picturesque. Okay, anything else that I can do whilst I'm waiting? You know, I could do this, add in a little bit more water. I still don't know how to drop that boiler pressure. Is it this? Is it not this? Does this do anything? Is it supposed to do anything? What's this? Is that the injector? No, that's the injector. So what's this? No, that's an injector. What's this, then? I don't know what that is. That's a train brake. Th oh, that must be to do with brakes, then. Those are injectors. So what's... this? Water valve? What does that do? Does that drop the pressure? Hmm... No, that does nothing for the pressure. I don't know what that is. Uh, injector should now go off. Unfortunately, it doesn't switch on both injectors. I think I've got... Um, I think I'm supposed to open that up. But uh, obviously I can't. Frustratingly. Let's add some more coal in here. And then perhaps close that. Oh, actually, that might do the trick. Just got to wait to be able to go. Uh, just wait for the whistle. I can hear a steam engine somewhere. I need to go explore. Somewhere in this direction. It's getting louder. It's not a steam engine. It's a steam tractor. Wow, the fact that you can hear that from that far away. That's saying something. Okay. So I'm just waiting to be told that I can move. If that, I mean, that would be really nice. Yes, we're here. And our next stop is the final stop. Which is there. Which isn't far away. I just need to be told that I can go. Now, apparently it doesn't want to tell me. What's this? That little square, what's that? What's that? Where's that come from? I don't know. Look at a shadow, I think it's that. But that doesn't seem to make all too much sense. I think it is that. 
Can I go? Can I release the brakes? I can. It's rolled it forward. No, no, I didn't do anything. What does that mean? I see it's saying rough handling. I haven't done anything. In fact, I'm going to roll it forward up to there and then I'm going to stop it again. Just more so out of curiosity than anything else. Or at least with all the all the um carriages on. Which I feel like that I feel like that gives me all the carriages on. So let me just hit the brakes there and see what happens. Yep, that's all it was waiting for. Okay, interesting. That's taken me half an hour. It was, I was already supposed to be at the other side by this time. Well, that's awkward. But anyway, you know, that's this is what happens. This is how it works. This is just what, what you get. Just, just tell me that the passengers are going to... Just tell me I've got an all aboard because I've got three miles to run to the next stop. That's what I was looking for. Right, let's get out of here. That was a, a wait for something I did not expect to be waiting for. Alright, well we've got 25 miles per hour for the next two miles. That's a nice little uh, view, isn't it? Like that. It does it does give some lovely views and it's a very I will say it's it's very nicely made this route. It, it really is. I think it's got a lot of detail and of course it's I think it's smaller than actually it may it may not be small. Let's you know what we should do. There we go. So this is the the part of the, oops. That's the part of the route that we've been down there and this is the entire route that's available so we've only explored that part that's the great western there so yeah lots to look forward to actually where's the train there we are i'm speeding rather excessively here There we go. Wow, I actually hit the brakes correctly. I am I'm impressed with myself, if I may say so. Alright, so I think the amount of water we've got is fine. The amount of coal we've got is fine. Should be absolutely fine and dandy over here now. We're going to get to the main line next. So what do you guys think of this route? Uh, let me know in the comments box below. Do you think it's a good route? Do you, do you like the styling of it? I think, I have to say, I think it's actually rather well made. Crows need to go, please. Please, just, please. You know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself that this is the 1930s, but I don't think it is the 1930s, simply because of these. 
Those are modern. So I'm just wondering, is this set in a fictional future? The 19... the fictional 1980s? Perhaps? I'm not sure. Well, we're almost... we're almost to our destination. Uh, one and a half miles to go. Which shouldn't take us too long at all. Our brake pressure, uh, brake pressure, boiler pressure has come down rather nicely. Which I think is in part due to this being open. So you are supposed to have that open. I think when we're not on the throttle, that's supposed to be open. So, in fact, I am going to leave that open. Yes, I saw the whistle. I saw the sign to whistle just there. It's, it is nice. I think the textures could do with improving. The railways, I mean, not the railway, the train textures do need improving. Maybe even the modelling needs improving overall. Environmentally, it's really good. It's just the textures, for example, on bridges and things like that that need improving. But aside from that, trees are great. Environment as a whole is great. Buildings are great. They are period. Um, you know, seeing that, it's very British. It, it, it makes sense. It's a little village. The fact that we have a missing tile there, not so great. Because the moment you do that, you've got a tile missing. And that's, uh, yeah, maybe that tile needs to be there. Just going to say that. I think that tile needs to be there. Why is it complaining now? We've got two... Distant and Home are both clear. And now Distant is on Caution and Home is on Caution, not Caution. Distant is on... What's the opposite of clear? Blocked, is it? I think it's blocks. How do I how do I get rid of this pressure? Maybe I just put the reverse into nothing. No, that doesn't seem to do it. Add in more coal. That would reduce the pressure, wouldn't it? lovely to see these steam tractors trying really hard here to to get rid of this pressure that downhill is very dangerous how do I I wish I could hold that whistle see I can only just do that and that's it I wish I could hold that okay Again, boiler pressure is incredibly high. That's a 15. And that's the Great Western Main Line. That is the Great Western Main Line right there. Look at that. Oh, and... As if we needed something special to be there. Look at that, we have one of the mainline trains coming in. That is... that's awesome. That is awesome to see, one of the super mainline trains. I'm not sure what text in here. We got a mistake there. Just that just needs to be fixed. Plymouth, Weymouth, 
Paddington. Text in here. I'm sorry, that, that is funny. Plymouth. St. Ives. Oh, look, and there's another one. There's another train. I'd have to stop at the end of the platform. I didn't think I'd have to stop at the end. That's a little branch line train probably going across. I've come across. There you go. We'll get really close to it and uh, we'll see. That's that train, isn't it, going? Yep, that's that one. There we go. Hey, that doesn't look bad. That does not look bad. And I think that's where I'm going to end this video. So, thank you very much for... Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on... Uh, Trains Railroad Simulator 2019 if you want them leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think don't forget if you want to pick up this title link is in the description box below uh, the developers will be made aware of that slight mistake on that carriage I will let them know so don't worry about that that will be fixed uh, anything else to say yes if you want to, please do support me on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, uh, you can find me on Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget. And you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That's all from me. And I shall see you guys next time in trains hmm one star okay well that's fine i shall see you guys next time in trains railroad simulator 2019